All right, guys, it's Monday night. Um, I The kitchen is really messy. I can't believe it's gotten this bad in one week. So my nephew's going over tomorrow, and I'm going to make him some burgers. And I want to have a nice, clean house, you know, when I clean you know, make the burgers, have a nice clean kitchen. The kitchen's really bad, so I just wanna focus on the kitchen. So I thought I would do a cleaning video for you guys. And I'll just show you a long view of what the kitchen's looking like. All right, guys, it's pretty messy. <laughs> like I said, I don't know how I got this messy. I just cleaned last week. I think it's when you have a small space, it just gets so cluttered. I was watching this other video, this vlogger. She said the same thing. She lives in a very small apartment in New York and her house gets so messy because it, it gets so cluttered easily. So I thought we'd just do a little cleaning video and just clean the kitchen. All right, the first thing I want to do is clean everything off this table because I really want to light this candle. I got this from um, Bath and Body Works. It's a pumpkin apple. I saw another blogger and they think they, they, they really love this one a lot. I think they're, they like this one more than the pumpkin one, pumpkin spice. And so clean this table off and just light it and have a nice smelly kitchen as I clean my house. All right, clean the, everything off the table. I'm just gonna use a white paper towel. I think I need to wet this more. And I'm gonna use a dry paper towel and I'm gonna start drying the table. This is what I normally do when I clean the kitchen, just clean everything off the table first. I feel like you know, if I wash dishes, I need a place for my dishes or just it's a good place to put things if I need room. All right, now I'm gonna burn this candle. Um, it's pumpkin maple from Bath and Body Works. I I took the lid off for a little bit like, like this and it smelled so good. So I think it's gonna smell so good. I don't normally buy candles because they don't smell very good. But my mom says they have to get three wicks, so we'll try it out. And this was normally 24 but they gave me $10 off. Maybe there was a sale. I'm not sure. I would have bought this for 24 just to try something new. And since somebody a vlogger on YouTube said the pumpkin apple was so good, so I'll let you guys know in a, in a few minutes. So I'm going to start working on this. I think I'm going to start washing the dishes first. Mostly it's just dishes I have to wash, actually. So I did a Burger King video today. So that's why Burger King is here in fries. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna start putting everything, all the dishes on the table and then adding the slippy water and then adding the dishes. I think that's what I'm gonna do actually. <laughs> this away. I don't know what I made in this pot. I think, oh, I was think chicken drumsticks. I don't normally clean my kitchen daily. I should. Part of the reason is I do work two jobs. I know that can be always an excuse for me though. And I wasn't really going to show you all my mess, like maybe half of it. You know what? Let's just make it real, you know. 
I don't know about you guys, but I love when I see a cleaning video and it's really messy, then it's really clean. It just really, I don't know, it's satisfying to watch, you know? So I think in this video, I know my last two clean videos, I did a lot of voiceover. Uh, I think this one, I, I will not do a voiceover. And you guys can let me know. Do you like these type of videos? You know, where I talk, on the camera, or do you prefer more of the, of the voice and camera, or do you feel... Do you want both? Um, I know my last video I did do both and the sound was a little bit off. So I'm not sure how that was going to work. But yeah, you guys let me know what you like. Just do a little experiment. Um, a lot, and be a lot of requested cleaning videos. So I'm thinking I might do these cleaning videos every two or three months. And maybe more if you guys really like them. I don't know. The candles are already smelling really good. It's only been like two, three, four minutes, and the candles are already smelling. Look at this. How did this get so dirty? OMG. I need to clean the sink really bad. Oh my gosh. Gross. I'm going to go ahead and drain it. I think I have some Clorox. Clean it with that. Once this drains. I'm just going to wipe everything off first and then I'm going to maybe use some Clorox and clean it. Yeah, when I watch cleaning videos, I like to do kitchen videos. Sometimes I always cook kitchen videos because that's my big mess in my house. And I don't have a living room. I don't really like to watch cleaning videos when there's a living room. I might fast forward that part because it just doesn't do anything for me. Not, not too much. Because I don't have a living room, so I can't really relate to it too much. But hope, I'm hoping one day I'll get an apart, actual real apartment with a living room. That's my goal. Right now... I just enjoy this little studio apartment, cottage, no shared walls, you know.
All right, so I'm halfway through the dishes, so that's good. All right, guys, all the dishes are washed. I'm super excited. It looks a lot better. Um, what I want to do now is just kind of organize some of the stuff. Like the salt and pepper. Goes right up here. The comment goes under. I don't want to show you under the sink. I'm going to do another video of organizing the sink. And it's really bad. Syrup goes right here. Also, the mini guy goes right here. That goes in the trash. And this coffee. You guys ever have this coffee? One of my customers says he just puts a little bit of espresso. It's, it's like ground coffee. I just put a little bit in my coffee maker. I don't have an espresso maker, a cappuccino maker, or like a latte machine or whatever. Um, 
I add a little bit to my ground coffee. Um, makes it a real strong flavor, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah. Put this where my other coffee is, right here. This is uh, trash. My trash. Put that away. All right, so let me go ahead and spray the counters with the spray. I made hash browns this morning for breakfast. <laughs> mm. That's my bag of paper towel. I'm just going to clean a few items on the floor. I don't know why these are on the floor. So these books, I think they're on the floor because I was trying to do a video and with my um, little microphone, I'd like to have a, put the microphone on the books and maybe they just fell. I'm not really sure. And yeah, things just fall when you have a small space, you know? When you have a small space, there's no room on the table and you don't have any kitchen space. They just just fall, you know. All right, now I'm just going to sleep and mop and I'll be done. So I'm excited. I think it's almost 10 p.m. So it's kind of a late. But I guess with the filming and the cleaning, it, it can take a while, I guess. The last thing, just mop. I'm gonna spray this Bona Harbor floor on the floors. Also on the mop as well, I'm gonna spray it all over. This one well, mop's okay. You have to spray a lot I, of the hardwood floor spray, I noticed, but it works pretty good. It's not too bad. All right, guys, the kitchen is clean. It looks so much better. I am so excited. And the candle is smelling so good. I love this candle so much. So tomorrow I'm excited. So when I come home tomorrow from work, I'll have a nice clean kitchen to make burgers for my nephew. I'm excited.
Thank you for watching another cleaning video. I hope this video gave you some inspiration or motivation if you want to clean your house or to clean your kitchen. The burgers I made for my nephew and I were amazing, absolutely delicious. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.